filtering data. You must have studied about filtration process which is used to separate unwanted material from a mixture. Excel also provides you to filter unwanted data from a set of data. To apply filters, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the range of columns to be filtered. Step 2. Click Sort and Filter command from Editing Group under Home tab to open a drop-down list. Step 3. Click Filter from the drop-down list. You will notice that small arrows appear in front of all the column headers. Step 4. Click on the arrow in front of the header Marks obtained to open a drop-down list. You will notice that all the entries in the column are present in the list with small checkboxes in the beginning. Click some of the checkboxes to uncheck them. Click on OK button. You will notice that the rows of unchecked data are removed from the list. You need not to worry as the data is not lost. Notice the row headings. Some of the row headings are missing. The unchecked rows have just been hidden from the display. To get the data back, open the filter list again and check the unchecked entries. Suppose you want to know the names of the students who have scored more than 80 marks. Follow these steps to get the required information. Step 1. Apply filters to the data. Step 2. Click on Marks Obtained column header to open the filter drop-down list. Step 3. Place your mouse over Number Filters option to open a sub-menu. Select the Greater Than option to open the Custom Auto Filter dialog box. Step 4. Enter 80 in the Criteria box and click on OK button. Notice that only the details of the students who have obtained marks greater than 80 are displayed and the remaining rows get hidden. Remove Filters The filters once applied can be easily removed. Click anywhere in the worksheet and repeat steps to apply filters. You will notice that the filter arrows in front of column headers disappear and the hidden rows also reappear.